In this work, we present a shared control method designed to provide effective control of bimanual robot manipulators. Our goal is to make robot control in real-world, human-centered environments easier and more effective, even for novice users, by providing users with the ability to control the robot analogously to how they would naturally perform tasks with both hands themselves. We envision our method being used for a wide range of scenarios, such as remote home care, telenursing, or nuclear materials handling. Before focusing on the robot control aspects of this problem, we first investigated how people instinctively perform bimanual manipulations. We collected a dataset of 12 participants performing numerous bimanual manipulations. Our goal through this process was to extract high-level patterns from this dataset that could in turn inform our bimanual robot motion algorithms. Through our analysis, we observed that bimanual manipulations are generally built up from a small set of central kinematic actions. These actions are self-handover, where the hands come together to pass an object from one hand to the other, one hand fixed, where one hand holds an object in place so the other hand can perform a manipulation with respect to that object, one hand seeking, where one hand actively reaches for or manipulates an object while the other hand does not contribute to the task, and fixed offset, where the two hands maintain a fixed translation and rotation offset between each other in order to coordinate to move an object together. We organize these bimanual actions into a compact and lightweight bimanual action vocabulary to serve as comprehensible building blocks for the space of two-handed actions. With our bimanual action vocabulary at its core, our shared control method is structured as follows. The user controls the robot using a mimicry control interface, such that the robot reflects the motions of the user in real time. The human-to-robot motion retargeting problem throughout this work is solved using our optimization-based inverse kinematics solver called Relaxed IK, presented in prior work. Relaxed IK is able to produce motions in real time that accurately match the inputs of the user's hand poses while maintaining feasible motions that avoid self-collisions, kinematic singularities, and joint space discontinuities. While the user is controlling the robot, the method uses a recurrent neural network to infer which action from the bimanual action vocabulary is most likely being specified by the user, and engages in appropriate assistance mode to help during the respective bimanual action. In this example, the user naturally specifies that the robot should pick up the pot with both arms, the method recognizes that the user is specifying a fixed offset action, and the method constrains the robot's motions to ensure that it maintains a fixed translation and rotation offset between its end effectors so it doesn't drop the object. In the remainder of the video, we highlight the effectiveness of our bimanual shared control method being used on various tasks. In this task, the participant is passing plates from the robot's right to left end effector to place the plates into the drying rack. Without assistance, the participant has difficulty performing the task, as the distance between the robot's end effectors does not correspond to the distance between the user's hands. With our bimanual assistance modes included, the robot adjusts its end effector translation velocities to match hand velocities seen by people when doing self-handovers, and also ensures that its end effectors are the correct distance apart from each other, as specified by the user, to afford a natural self-handover action. In this task, the participant is trying to remove the cover from the blue container. Only using a single arm makes this task difficult to perform, as the container cannot be held in place to remove the top. 
Directly using two robot arms without any assistance modes available still leads to task difficulties because the two arms are not coordinating to make the task easier or more efficient. With our assistance modes available, the task is performed more successfully as the robot keeps its right end effector more stable when the one hand fix by manual action is detected, and the robot's left end effector can more easily grasp the container and gain leverage to remove the cover. In this task, the participant is clearing off the table by stacking the cups into a single stack. Directly controlling each arm without our assistance modes places equal importance on matching the position and rotation goals on each end effector. This makes it more difficult to very precisely maneuver the end effector that may need more accuracy given the task, as the underlying motion optimization may be overburdened with different conflicting objectives. With our assistance modes available, the robot recognizes that it is reaching for objects one hand at a time, meaning that one end effector will not be contributing to the task. Thus, the underlying optimization understands that small errors can be present in the position and rotation of the offhand in favor of finding more accurate solutions for the end effector that is contributing to the task. In this task, the participant is moving the trash bin from one table to another using both hands. Directly using two robot arms without our assistance modes available makes this task difficult to perform as the arms do not realize that they are coordinating together in order to move a rigid object, so small errors in motion inputs lead to large errors in motion outputs. With our assistance modes available, the robot realizes that a fixed offset action is present, and maintains a fixed translation and rotation offset between its end effectors throughout the action. Using this assistance, the participant successfully completes the task. This final example highlights our fixed offset assistance being used to perform a complex manipulation, where the hands must multitask and coordinate to move the tray from one table to the other, while always keeping the tray upright such that the cups do not fall. <laughs>